up for Andrew Sean Greer. And the Chris Adrian Dranzer is trained at Mills College. <laughs> um, now I'm getting stressed out about their student loans, so I'm not going to think about it. Um, it is really uh, tremendous, I think, to be gifted with a writer like Chris Adrian. I first came across him uh, when I read the novel The Children's Hospital, published by San Francisco's own McSweeney's Press. Edited by a slightly tipsy-looking gentleman lying on his back in the front row, <laughs> Mr. Eli Horowitz, star of the San Francisco literary scene. Um, the Children's Hospital is a novel I uh, wholeheartedly recommend, and that I was even more thrilled to read, The Great Night, a retelling of a story you might know, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which I was also in in high school. I played... Funny you should ask, sir. I played Oberon, King of the Fairies. That's right, Oberon, King of the Fairies. It's like shopping for a dance belt on stage to play Oberon, King of the Fairies. You know, it's not really often that I'm the least effeminate man on stage as part of a literary performance, but I believe tonight it is. Please welcome an on-again, off-again San Franciscan, but I like to call him our own, really a terrific writer with a fantastic book, for some reason dressed as a dog, Mr. Chris Adrian! <laughs> It's funny how many dogs barked at me. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, thank you, uh, Daniel and Andy, um, uh, for the uh, not least for that delightful song. Oh, that um, not least for that delightful song, which will be stuck in my head for the next um, three days at least. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Kristen and the, the booksmith, pe uh, booksmith people. This is awful neat. Um, part of the reason to write the book in the first place was coming uh, through this park, um, not necessarily late at night, um, uh, uh, but uh, often during the day and, and standing actually right here and thinking, uh, golly, this is neat, or what a city, um, uh, what a park, um, and, uh, and sometimes, you know, depending on who is up here, what, uh, what people. Um, so getting to... Um, uh, to read from the book in a setting like this is um, is beyond fantastic. Um, uh, so thanks again for uh, for for coming. Um, I'm going to read a little bit from the last part of the book. Uh, so I probably should set it up a little. Though often when I try and do this, I end up just confusing people um, uh, more than they would be if I just jumped right into it. So I'll try to be brief. But the important things to know are, I think one, one thing you probably picked up already is the novel is a retelling of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and uh, it's about three people who get lost in the, uh, in the park on the way to a party um, over that away. Um, the part I'm going to read isn't really about them, though. Uh, the, the, there are those three people and then five others who are five homeless folks who are in the park, um, not because they're on the way to the party, but because they are uh, rehearsing a play. Just like in the actual Shakespeare play, um, they're um, putting on uh, a production. Um, they're doing it because they think that the mayor of San Francisco is uh, part of a, involved in a conspiracy um, where he's taken, arranging to have homeless people taken off the street and then turned into food in uh, uh, and then reprocessed as as meals in homeless shelters um so they've got it in their head Thank that if you. they uh get get things right with a musical production of soylent green uh, <laughs> that they'll, uh, they'll put this play on for the mayor and prick his conscience in just the right way and get him to abandon his his evil ways um the other thing to know is that Puck in this story is not uh, a, a very benevolent figure. Um, he's uh, um, uh, a bit more powerful than in the play and, and, and a good bit more evil. Uh, he also tends to look to people like whatever they're most obsessed with or um, afraid of. So for these homeless folks, he looks like the mayor and they've run into him once in the park already by the time 
this um, section starts and think that that uh, that he was that they think that he is the mayor and that um, that he's coming back pretty soon and so they, they need to get it together with um, with the play before he comes back uh, just need to take my paws off to turn the pages. <laughs>